like, comment, and subscribe within the next five seconds if you want this VC glitch to work for you. I wouldn't risk it. Yo, YouTube! It's your boy Premier back today with another banger. And in today's video, we are going to be going over the updated VC glitch after patch three. But first things first, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and make sure to subscribe with post notes on so you don't miss a banger. But first things first, before we get started here, I do want to say in today's video, if you have any trouble at all, just make sure to watch this video all the way through. I do cover this VC glitch every step, so just make sure to watch the full video all the way through. So you don't get confused and as well before we get started i do want to announce that i'm officially doing sponsored giveaways on my twitter and i announce them live on my twitch streams so make sure to follow my twitch and twitter down below to enter the vc giveaways but for the first step go ahead and back out and exit to the main menu now once you get here in the main menu first things first i want you to go ahead and scroll over to the my league Next, you can go ahead and enter my league and select current NBA teams. Follow each instruction here step by step. Next, you wanna start in the regular season. Make sure to press A or X on start in regular season. Same thing for here with the startup mode. You do not need to enter the setup options. Just simply press A or X on startup mode and then it's going to let you select your user team. I always select the Lakers. The Lakers are in the finals. It's two of my favorite teams, LeBron versus the Heat going at it in the finals. Who do y'all think is going to win? Drop it down below. I do want to say the Bucks are good as well. But next, you can just go ahead and enter like and make sure for the team you select the Lakers or whatever user team. The Bucks and the Lakers are the two best teams for this method. Now, from here, it's going to ask you to fully customize the draft class. Just make sure you select auto generate rookies. You do not need to create or edit or load or download a draft class. Just auto generate the rookies. Now, from here, you do have a few settings you need to adjust. You do need to mess around with the roster. That is the first setting we are going to mess with. From here, press the start button and you want to enter the quick edit mode. From here, go to the height and I need you to press A or X to edit the column and I need you to raise all of their heights up to seven foot seven. Next, go through and edit every single stat that you think is relevant. I did honestly every single stat so that way I know my team is gonna win every single game because if you do not win every single game, this is not gonna work as effective for you. So you need to make sure in my opinion that you have 99 stats on everything to win every single game. Shout out my man JJ who came up with this glitch. He actually did not end up editing all of his stats. I think if you edit all the stats, and especially if you raise the moral, you will not have to worry about any issues with your team. You're going to win every single game. From here, press start, finish up, confirm the changes, back out, and you need to go ahead and scroll all the way over to you get to the settings and the My League settings. First things first for the My League settings, set the quarter link all the way to 12 minutes. It's very important to get the maximum amount of VC out of this glitch that you set it on 12 minutes. Next, enter the settings. Make sure you're playing on rookie 12 minutes and the game speed is on 100. If the game speed is not on 100, this VC glitch is not gonna work near as fast and near as effective for you. Now, for the next step in this VC glitch, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can play the easier teams like the Hawks, the Kings, the Hornets, or the way you have your team set up, if you followed my instructions, maxed out every single stat, 299, set the morale, all that, you can play and beat any team. From here, you need to go and select your first game option that you have available to play, and you need to select Simulate with SimCast Live. If this option pops up, just I was honestly confused at first. I did not know what to do. Just let the computer handle it though. Do the auto select, let the computer handle that. And when you load into the game, the first step and the only thing you need to do for this glitch is just set the simulation speed to six times. Now, this is the best part of this VC glitch. This is an AFK VC glitch. From here, honestly, kick your feet up. You really don't need to do hardly anything. Get on your phone, go around the house, go in the kitchen. From here, you need to set your phone's timer to 10 to 12 minutes. I on 10 minutes, sometimes the games aren't gonna be done. If you set it to 12 minutes, it's gonna be done every single time. This is why it's not done every single time. Some of these timeouts, I don't know what the computer's deal is. Sometimes they'll like 
you, they'll make you sit through the timeout and then other times they're gonna press A and end the timeout on their own. So if you sit through it and actually press A, they will only take like 10 minutes if you skip the timeouts. And then other times when they don't skip the timeouts, I think you should set your timer to around 12 minutes. Now I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like this is the blacktop glitch, like this is some of the other VC glitches we've had. This VC glitch, I'm going to go ahead and be upfront and be honest with you, you do not make near as much VC. But the reason I had to drop this VC glitch, there is no, and there's nothing else in the game that you can literally set your game up and I let it like do it stuff. for you and you're going to make VC. If you wouldn't play my career, if you wouldn't play Pro-Am 3v3, you have to actually play the game. Even if you still try and do the black talk method, which by the way, I tested it recently. I think I made like two to 4,000 in one hour. It was terrible. 2K definitely patched the black top method. Please, somebody feel free to quote me down in the comment section below if I'm wrong. But after the game finishes up, from here to continue this VC glitch, all you need to do is press quit. Then from there, it's going to load you back into the main menu. Once you see that your VC earnings are popping up, you're going to get 300 per game. Now, like I said, I know this is not the best VC glitch in the world, but if you're not doing anything, I literally set this up while I sat here and edit these videos. I set it up last time I watched a movie with my girl, just making VC in the background. There is no better way to literally not have to play the game and still make VC. So I'm gonna collect my 300 VC per game and run this method up, do this over and over again, if you set the timer and you're doing this every 10 minutes, you're going to be getting 300 VC and you don't play the game every 10 minutes. I just want that to soak in before y'all go down in the comments section and y'all start roasting, y'all get on my head, oh, this VC like glitch this. is bad, blah, blah, blah. Whatever comments y'all have to say, just please think about that you are not actually playing the game and you are making VC. If you have another method for me to not play the game and I can make VC, please put me on down below. This is the best method I know. This is the best quote unquote VC glitch slash method that I know in the game right now where you do not have to play the game at all and you're still going to get paid. So like I said, please, if y'all know a different method, please let me know down below. I am always open to constructive criticism, feedback. I'm always trying to better my content and better the quality of these videos for y'all. So once again, if you know another method, please be sure to let me know down below. I'm always open ears to the feedback. But as you finish up on this VC glitch, I like to go ahead and, and if you don't have it set on six times speed, this is not gonna work for you. You are gonna be very frustrated. So please make sure you set these games on like six times speed for it to be as fast and as effective as possible. And before you know it, the game's gonna be over and you're going to be pressing quit and going back to the main menu. Get on your phone, get on TikTok, scroll down Twitter, do whatever, go on IG, I don't care. From here though, I'm going to exit out to the main menu and go to my My Team. I feel like that's the quickest way if you wanna like check your VC. I feel like it's a tad faster than loading up all the way into the park and doing all that and loading in on your My Player. As you can see, I have 6,629 VC. I had zero, I've ran this method up all night and I got decent VC, not gonna lie, it's not the best. But once again, is there a better method where you don't have to play the game and you make this much VC? So anyways, y'all, that's all for today's video. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe down below with post notes on so you don't miss a video. And also, real quick before we go, let me know what video y'all would like to see next. But that's all. It's your boy Premier, and I'm out. Peace. It's getting hard to keep composure. They keep trying me. I came from nothing. Now they bumping my songs overseas. I remember when I first started. They do